Hello, I'm Luke Nello and welcome to the new season and 100th episode of Best Few Plays of the Week International. To celebrate, we're going to take the format and chuck it out the window. From now on, we're going to take two replays each and every week and put them head to head for your entertainment. So upload your replays to wordoftanksreplays.com and press contest, then Best Few Plays of the Week. Every replay featured on our show gets our unique Best Few Plays of the Week style. If you think only two replays have a chance to be shown, we're going to open with a few replays that were good, but missed the mark by just a tiny bit. So let's kick things off with Attics 28. A fierce fighting T28 on mines. As the battle turns south for the greens, Attics stands firm on top of the hill against everything the reds can muster. And more. To win the game with an amazing 14 kills and obtain the rare Assassinites medal. Well done. Swiftly moving on to Barris 136 in their attempt to 3 mark the Chimera. You could say this was just an above average heavy tank game on Lakeville, but you'll be wrong. Barris shows off the excellent brawling skills. And when the going gets tough as friendly tanks start to disappear, our hero protects the vulnerable light tank in the capture circle. Selflessly putting their tank in harm's way, even trading a death blow with the last remaining arty to win the game and achieve the all important third mark. GG. And for our last mention, we have the game in line in a Fosh 155 with a rather curious ammo loadout. What most of us would consider ludicrous, the game in line calls a challenge. And surprisingly enough, it seems to be working out well. With time running out and standing alone versus three enemies, HE seems to be exactly what one needs. A quick burst wins the game with 6k damage and 9 kills. Brave? Lucky? Foolish? Or maybe all three combined. In any case, don't try this at home. And with that, we move on to our first star of the episode. It is Martin Kviskala in the American Tier 8 Premium Heavy Tank, the M54 Renegade. As an all-round performer, it does remind me of the T110E5. The action takes place at the Czech factory town of Pilsen. What better place to kick back and crack open a cold one? The heavy tank friendly Wild West, to be more precise, is where our Renegade already bags an early RT rushing scout. In a close range brawl, it does seem like the Allies are getting off to a bad start. And against overwhelming numbers, standing and fighting is not the best of ideas. Fall back! But Martin isn't budging from their spot at the saloon, holding firm at the rubble pile. It seems risky, but this provides crucial spotting for the TD line at the back. While they in turn offer covering fire, protecting our hero from anyone crossing the railway. This town isn't big enough for the two of us. From here, the Renegade can lay down devastating fire upon advancing enemies, all while staying completely safe and hold down. Nice. A quick flanking maneuver dispatches the battered enemy force hiding in the factory and the dangerous Object 252U threatening the cap. But on open ground, the lower plate is exposed and enemy shells slice through like a hot knife through butter. Can't take any more of these trades. A Panthera attempts to pull a fast one on our Renegade. Ain't gonna happen, partner. With the timer running down on the cap and Martin pinned down, the RT attempts a desperate decap and succeeds, turning the KV's attention for just long enough to be taken out. Great teamwork! The final challenger turns out not to be much of a challenge at all, and becomes the 10th kill of the game. But with 21 HP and an RT remaining, better team up. A one-shot duel? The trio of tanks squint their eyes in the scorching noon sun, ready to face the music.
With an easy shot, the 11th kill is secured, as is the victory. GG. What a great game by Martin Kviskala, fighting intelligently to a pool's medal. With 7,000 damage and a whopping 2,185 basic speed, this fighting renegade is our first replay of the week. And up against it, a tiny little mosquito tank called AMX 1357, driven by our very own editor, Zane Leon. And also fitting for the size of the tank is the gun, a tiny 57mm autoloader dealing only 90 damage per shot. But be wary, with this fast intra-clip reload, the damage piles up and fast. On a map like Live Oaks, with lots of hills, dips and soft cover, it's a perfect tank for setting up an ambush. Just like this unaware scorpion is about to taste. One sting might not do much, but the damage starts racking up with no retaliation. With an itch to squash the annoying insect, the scorpion charges into its own doom. What do I see here? Another unaware TD? Don't mind if I do. Xaneon aims precisely, making sure every shot counts, all whilst keeping an eye on enemy artillery in the back. Now that's what I call multitasking. A nearly full HP tier 9 TD falls to a tiny little scout without any damage in return. Escape is not an option, Artie. Bravely closing the distance exposes the remaining enemies, netting some assistance damage as well. Until once again ambushing an unaware T25-2 and making every shot in the clip count. Brilliant! A T28 desperately attempts to squash this mosquito, but once again it escapes through its fingers to cause even more havoc. Xenon leads the hunt for the last remaining survivor, but are those five shells left going to be enough to save the day? There it is. With nowhere to run, it's do or die. Three, two, one. Whoa, that was a monster crit sting. The last shell detonating the ammo rack and sending the turret flying sky high. What a way to end the game. Securing the last kill of the game with the last shell means Zane Leon achieves another Faden's medal, making it the 16th in their career. Dealing 5,260 damage and scoring another 2,500 assistance, results in a whopping 2,237 base XP. All as a bottom tier scout. What a game. What a rush. And those were our two top replays of the week. But now it's your turn to take part. Vote for who you thought was the best replay of the week. Press the I in the top right corner and select either Martin Kvisala, the hard fighting renegade, or Xenia, the annoying little AMX 1357. The choice is yours. Remember to send your replays every week by going to whatreplays.com, upload, then contest best replays of the week. And the winner of episode 99 is. Shadow War 07, Peen 43 Biz, who fought it out with the big guys but couldn't quite win in the end. I'm Luke Nella, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.